hey what's up guys and welcome back to the channel you know what's a boy anime king and today i'm gonna be giving you part 19 of what if naruto was madara grandson get this one to 300 and you'll be getting part 20 as soon as possible go check out my other what ifs i did yeah like what if deck was a vampire go and check that out turn on the bell notifications stay posted and share to all of your friends on your social media platform what would offer you let's get straight into it Start the intro. the last time we left off it was a tuning exam practice test and everyone was fighting Sakura and Eno fight and they were pretty useless because it was a double knockout now to tell his friend Kerosu to change the board so he can pick who he wants to fight so we reach up to who Naruto is gonna fight now if you guys haven't seen yet go and check out the playlist I've created a playlist so you guys can check out the other parts so the last part we left off it was naruto uzumaki versus zaku one of the sound ninjas naruto smirk and went down to face off against the smirk in zaku zaku was had a big smirk on his face like he knew that he was going to win this match he was pretty confident hey hurry up you leaf trash zaku growled impatiently because naruto was walking too slow naruto merely took his time and joined zaku in the ring uzumaki naruto versus zaku begin zaku immediately raised his arm and sent a high pressure rise a bolt of air towards naruto naruto merely dodged it but the attack impacted in the wall destroying it on contact revealing zaku with an evil chuckle on his face towards Naruto, showing Naruto how powerful he is. Zaku held up his hands as his palm glow with a massive chakra building up, fired towards Naruto. This hit Naruto directly on the stomach and sent him right towards the wall. Ha! Huh, there you just go, you piece of trash. It was so easy to beat you little leaf trash. Zaku said as he looked at an unconscious Naruto. <laughs> Zaku heard a dark laugh. It seems you have an interesting move, a voice behind him. Zaku turned around to see a Na Naruto standing right behind him. How? What? He shouted as he turned around very quickly to see Naruto. Now, it is my turn. Naruto smirk. Let's dance. Shall we? Zaku immediately let out another puff of ear towards Naruto, but he dissolved in black butterflies. Who are you? Zaku said. Are you afraid of me? You scared the cat. Are you afraid of me? Where are you? You're just hiding. Zaku getting really angry and losing his patience and shouting. Suddenly, a skeleton arm break out of the ground and grab Zaku by the feet and then a bunch of other skeletons started came out of the ground and holding Zaku. What? Kurunai thought and suddenly she's watching the match it hit her again Jutsu. What the hell is that? Ino shouted. She had gone near to the railing to take a good look at the Jutsu. What is this technique? Sakura wondering too. Look closer Sakura, it's a Genjutsu, Kakashi said, a really good one, a high class Genjutsu, Kurunai thought to herself as she looked down at Naruto, how does Naruto know this? Whoa, since when Naruto become this strong, Kiba thought as he seemed shocked and surprised. Now I remember where I seen his face, 
said the San Shinobi as everyone turned around to see what she's talking about. Where Tankura asked his sister as he wanted to know more about the blonde boy. In the bingo book, Temari answered, What? Sasuke shouted. What? Temari looked down at him. After Sasuke just shouted a surprising what because he was so surprised. Don't you know that your friend is in the hidden cloud bingo book? He take out a book out of her pouch and throw it towards him. Read entry number 399. Sasuke hardly picked up the book and looked for number entry 399. He started to read while both Ino and Sakura looked over his shoulder. When they finished, their eyes widened along with Sasuke. What is in it? Choji asked Ino as he see the shock expression on her face. I can't believe it, Ino said. Naruto is in the bingo book. What? Kiba said. Kiba went over to Sasuke and hurry up and snatched the book from his hand and he began to read it. Bingo book entry 399. Naruto Uzumaki, the demon slayer of the hidden leaf, male, blue eye, blonde hair, around 13 years old. Threat level C rank. Warning engage with caution. Element unknowing. The bingo book go on and on to tell more about Naruto. Most of the genin eyes popped out from their socket. Even Kurunai was speechless. She hadn't know anything about this. Naruto is in the bingo book? Sakura was still stunned at what she had read. The demon slayer? That's a cool name, said Choji. He has gotten all over his shock and now was thinking about Naruto name in the bingo book. Sasuke turned to the arena and stared at Naruto with jealously all over his face. Naruto-kun is so powerful, Hinata thought as she watched and blushed over Naruto. Kakashi, my eternal rival, Guy said in his cheerful voice as he came over there with his students. Guy and his team wasn't far from Kiba when they were reading the bingo book. Guy came over there and said, congratulations, I hear that Naruto is in the bingo book. He's a youthful student. He yelled the last sentence as fire rolled into his eyes, acting his usual weird way. Guy pointed at Naruto, the youthful Naruto. Then he turned to Lee and said, Lee, Naruto will be your eternal rival. Yes, Guy Sensei Lee said as he rushed off to do 100 laps to try and get stronger than Naruto. Guy had emotional tears in his eyes when he heard Lee was going to do 100 laps. Lee, I am so proud of you. Lee stopped after hearing this sentence and him and Guy run towards each other and embrace each other in a big hug. Everybody had a weird expression on their face as they watched the student and the teacher. They went back to watch a match as Naruto appeared in front of Zaku. Surrender now, he said. Never, you leave trash. Zaku shouted at Naruto. As you wish. Naruto went through some hand seals and sucked in a deep breath. Great fireball jutsu, a massive orb of fire flied out of Naruto's mouth. Zaku looked at the fireball with horror. The fireball collided with his body. The force of the fireball was too much. It sent Zaku in the wall, colliding. When the smoke cleared, there was nothing left but a few part body parts of Zaku. The proctor appeared next to Naruto. Winner is Naruto Uzumaki. He said before turning to Zaku corpse and the 10 minutes break before cleaning this mess. Naruto just turned around, nothing, no emotion in his face and then he let out a small smirk knowing that he just scared some of his future opponents. The team 8 see the ruthlessness Naruto had showing, unlike others his own team, they have never seen this side of him. Is he really Naruto? Kiba thought as his mouth was wide open. He killed him, Hinata thought, as fears was in her eyes. It wasn't that Naruto she knowed. Is this the dead last of the academy? 
What the hell is Kakashi teaching him? Kurunai thought as she wondered what Kakashi was teaching that blonde haired boy. I like him, said Uncle. Now he's my second favorite kid. Uncle grinned at her crazy way. She had appeared right beside Kurunai, who was frowning at Naruto's power. You would, Uncle, Kurunai remarked. So who is first? Asuma asked curiously. Uncle grinned and licked her lips. Oh, the first is Ryu. Ryu? That familiar name piqued Kakashi's interest. Why? he asked. That kid gave Orochimaru a nice beating in the forest of death. Uncle said happily. What do you mean? Kakashi asked. Orochimaru was in the forest of death? But when? Sakura then answered his question. Orochimaru had attacked me and Sasuke in the forest of death. Okay, I didn't know that, Uncle said, turning her head at Sakura. But how the hell are you still alive after that? She hated her former sensei, but she couldn't deny that Orochimaru was good. Sa Kakashi narrowed his lone eye at Sakura, explain everything to me. She nodded, Ryu saved us. She started to tell him about their encounter with Ryu. When she finished her story, Kakashi narrowed his eyes further. And why didn't any of you tell me about this earlier, he asked. And where was Naruto this at this time? I was searching the scrolls, Naruto answered. He was standing behind Kakashi. Kakashi turned around to look at Naruto. Okay, but why didn't you inform me of this? Well, you didn't give me a chance to tell you, Naruto said, and I had forgot all about it. So, I couldn't really tell you. Kakashi sweat dropped on that lame answer. Shino then asked, who is Ryu? Kakashi slightly tilted his head to look at Shino, then he turned back at Kiba and said, go to entry 9 of the bingo book. The bingo book then show, and he talk about Ryu, Ryu Ochiha. The black dragon, male, eye color, blue, hair color, black, around 16 years old, ninja rank, they don't know, village, they don't know, threat, S class, warning, do not attempt to attack him on enemy necessary, you need a team or someone on a very high level. The rest of the information go on to tell them about Naruto about Ryu, sorry guys, and the bounty was 350 million to catch him. He's an s rank ninja, Shino said, but he's only a few years older than us. He refused to believe that someone just a few years older than them can be that strong and it would take a high class ninja to take him down and the bounty was so high, 350 million? Kiba, there are very ninjas, many, who are younger than you and stronger than even me, Kurnai said. The prime example is in front of you, Kiba, Naruto said, catching everyone's attention. Takashi Hatake at the academy, at age 5, he graduated at the top of his class for only a single year. He eventually joined a team with Ochiha Obito and Ren under the Fort Okage and a year later he become a Chunin after facing and defeating Gai Sensei at the Chunin exam. Gai gave his signature pose while Naruto said this, that was a good match he said. So you see Kiba, lot of people are stronger than you. Kiba merely frowned and turned around not facing Naruto. With all of their talking, they forgot about the exam, but the board started to blink again. It was Uchiha Sasuke versus, I cannot really remember that guy's name, but it was a member of Kabuto's team. That guy with a mask on his face and he had on eyeglass. So I can't remember his name, but Sasuke was about to face off against that guy. The both of them made their way to the ring while Sasuke walking, lots of his fangirls Ino and Sakura shouted for Sasuke to defeat that guy. The proctor for the exam told them to begin 
Sasuke was the first to jump up and his opponent looked at him. Sasuke performed some quick and seal fire release. Phoenix stage fire. His opponent quickly dodged out the small fire attacks that Sasuke was firing at him. Sasuke then jumped back on his feet. Come at me, Uchiha. Sasuke looked at the man and said, You can bend your body however you want, so you just want to choke me to death if I come in closer. That's not going to happen. But it doesn't matter, you won't be able to catch me. Sasuke ran forward and punched him in the draw with a right hook. As he expected, his opponent's neck twisted back. But Sasuke quickly jumped away from his failed headbutt. Instead, his head came face to face with Sasuke's left foot. If you guys can go ahead and tell me this guy's name down in the comment, I can't remember his name. Again, his neck twisted back and Sasuke just reacted with a roundhouse kick. This time, making his entire body twist around. He taunted Sasuke. You're too slow to counter me, boy. Sasuke then jumped back and looked at the man and said, Okay, let's try this. Fire release. Dragon fire jutsu. Sasuke fired his fireball right at the ground, creating a huge explosion and there was a lot of dust there. Sasuke came running out of the dust. He suddenly charged at Sasuke and he get the one up on him and wrapped around him, squeezing Sasuke tight. But then, Sasuke exploded in a puff of smoke. It was a shadow clone. The real Sasuke appeared behind him, kicking him in the back of the head. Then, kicking him so hard he fly up in the air and he do his lion barrage and slam his foot into the guy's stomach and winning the match. Then the proctor came down there. The winner of this match, Sasuke Ochiya. Sasuke started to walk away with his same cool walking. Sakura and Inu, they smile and they cheer for Sasuke. I must say my eternal rival, Guy said to Kakashi, both of your students are quite good. Kakashi simply buried his face into his book, not responding to Guy. Damn you and your hip attitude, Kakashi. Gay guy shouted dramatically. He then Kakashi then turned to look at Sasuke and Naruto. The both of them passed. He knew exactly how Sakura and Sasuke is, but he don't have a clue how strong Naruto or is he hiding his true strength from him. You were great, Sasuke, Ino and Sakura shouted. Naruto decided to ignore both of them. Then he saw the flashing board stop on the names. It was Neji versus Hinata. He asks his telepathic partner, Kerusu, did you do this on purpose? No master, Kerusu replied. It accidentally happened. Naruto shook his head and looked down at Hinata weakly form. It isn't a good day for her, he said. Naruto already knew that Neji was going to wipe the floor with her. So, he decided to sit down and close his eyes and went into a meditating pose. After a few seconds of closing his eyes, he said, She's going to lose. Kurenai looking at Naruto very angrily. Don't look at me like that, Naruto said. It's your own fault why she this way. Hearing Naruto's voice, even the third Okage turned around to see what was going on. What are you implying, Uzumaki? Kurenai asks as he clenched her fist in pure anger. Naruto scoffed. You are her teacher, aren't you? You know she will not win this battle. Except for Tenten, all of Leaf, female ninja, need a reality check. This shinobi world isn't for a novice girl like her. She has low confidence and she is very shy. She is even scared of her own shadow. Naruto looked at Kurenai who was gritting her teeth in anger. This isn't, a pri this isn't a primary school when everyone is everyone's friend and you can hold her hand the entire time. This is a shinobi world and you are her teacher, not her damn mother. Hey, do not talk like that to Kurenai sensei, Kiba shouted angrily. 
fang over fang, Kiba said. He jumped in the air and began to spin rapidly at Naruto. Naruto sidestepped when the attack was a mere inch from him, causing Kiba to slam right into the wall behind Naruto. Kiba rubbed his head as he was trying to go, he was going to try it another time, but Naruto appeared in front of him and grabbed him by his throat, squeezing it, lifting him up off the ground, showing him who is stronger. Kiba struggled to free himself, but he couldn't. Naruto was much stronger than him. Another nap Naruto appeared with a puff of smoke and grabbed Kiba's dog, who was trying to help him. Akamaru, you call this a partner? Naruto said. In the puff of smoke, the proctor appeared and stopped the fight. No fight is allowed in here. He means understands, really. Outside of the arena, no fight is allowed to be here. I was just defending myself. He attacked me first, Naruto said, without taking his eyes off Kiba. Ask Sasuke, he will tell you. The proctor looked at Sasuke, who nodded his head very well. He coughed, the proctor coughed, but let him go, the proctor said. Whatever, Naruto said, as he dropped Kiba and his shadow clone disappeared in a puff of smoke, dropping Akamaru on the ground. Kiba was unconscious already after being squeezed by Naruto, his throat. Akamaru ran over to check if Kiba was okay. Naruto turned to Kurunai. Now, where are we? Oh yes. If you ask me, you shouldn't be sensei of Team 8, he said. Kurunai glared at him as hard as she can. She really wants to go over there and tear him to pieces. But he's only a student. So she couldn't really do, like attack him so badly. But to call her a bad teacher, that just make her very furious. She looked around at her fellow Jonins, her friends. No one said anything in her defense. No one tried to stop Naruto. We were just all there, listening and looking at Naruto. It's not because you're not a good teacher. You're not the right teacher for Hinata. Because you know how shy she is and everything and emotional. But you don't really train her that good and you, you treat her like she's your child and you bundle her. This is a ninja world. People die. People fight for their life and people get killed. So you're not a good teacher for her. Naruto said as he just turned and started to walk away. Where are, go where are you going? Kakashi asked Naruto as he looked up from his book. I am going to eat something, Naruto answered without looking back. He walked away. But guys, I'm gonna end right here. If you want to see the next part of this, I told you guys get this one to 300 and you'll be getting the next part as soon as possible. But for now guys, I'm out. Peace.